Hey everybody, it's your boy Bryce Pitts 01. Welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about something a little bit different, and yes, it's still WWE related. So I haven't get it, I haven't got a chance to watch Monday Night Raw, but however, there were lots of YouTube videos going around that this championship, the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship, is official. Once May of 27th of 2023, we're gonna crown a new World Heavyweight Champion. So I have some pros and cons about this championship, and don't get me wrong, it looks really good. But I still have some mixed feelings about it on some occasions, on some reasons about this championship, so let's go ahead and dive in. So we all know what type of championship this is. This is a old and new World Heavyweight Championship gold, big gold title. Now don't get me wrong. Am I glad they're bringing back this classic title? Yes, I'm glad they're bringing back this title because it's a classic because everybody had hold on to this championship somewhere between around 2007 to 6 slash 2008 slash 11 to 13 to 14 maybe because I know Brian, um, or should I say Daniel Bryan before Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan actually holded the World Heavyweight Championship with the WWE Championship, you know, back in 2014, before they combined both of the titles and become the WWE World Heavyweight Championship that we all know and love today. But Roman Reigns is holding the other championship, the OG title, hostage, a.k.a. to be the reigning, defending world champion and universal champion. So... I have uh, two exclamations for this, so uh, either one, they're making a world title because, well, we kind of have no idea how long Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns is going to hold on to the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and the Universal title, so I think they're going to make a second world title just because, well, you know, Roman Reigns, he ain't going to let go of his titles for a very long time. Or maybe he'll let go of them by the timing of SummerSlam. And then either this title will go away or the title will stick around or this championship is official. It may will replace the classic WWE championship that we all know today from 2015 to the present day of 2023. 2015 all the way to 2023. So that's kind of my prediction. Either one, they're going to replace the WWE Championship that we all know in today with the big gold title. Or they're just making a second world title just in case if nobody doesn't become world champion if they don't beat Roman Reigns and let him hold on to the titles for a very long time. It's either going to be one of those. And I kind of hope they don't give Roman Reigns the title because then it kind of just makes it redundant. And I saw this meme, here's a picture of it right now, of what if Roman Reigns won the title at WrestleMania 40, and then Triple H makes another title, and all that goofiness. So, um, yeah. I'm just gonna go with a safe bet, and go with a safe route, and just say make a second world title, so everybody else can have an opportunity of being world champion, and all that good stuff. And don't give this second world title to Roman Reigns because like I said it'll just make things more redundant I think Roman is going to hold on to the titles that he has now for one gazillion days and please don't let him beat the Bruno record Bruno Santina I think that's how you say his name Bruno Santina please don't hold on to the titles until 2028 that'll just be too long and people will get bo bored with Roman Reigns as champion by then and, you know, some people might think, oh, holding on to the titles for a very long time is entertaining. Sure, it's only t entertaining only a matter of time. But you can say whatever you want. It's just my honest opinion. And, uh, yeah. And also, let's go ahead and talk about the design of the title. Since I got all the, um, all that good, all that good stuff out of the way. So, my first thought was, when I looked at the title, it looked pretty good. Like I said, everything else was great, but except for the one problem, though. The WWE logo in the middle of the Big Gold World Championship. I kind of despise that, to be kind of quite honest. 
Now look, don't get me wrong. It's always important to have a WWE logo on a championship. Without the logo on the championship, it just makes it even more not so professional because you got to have a logo on a championship. It makes it represent the company and all that good stuff. Represents the company and brings in more baby faces, heels, kayfabe wrestlers who are either a heel or a face. Doesn't matter. So, I saw this interesting picture once on Google. Here is a picture of the big gold WWE championship part without the uh, strap and everything. So here it is. It has the updated WWE logo on top. And I like this version better than the one that Triple H was showing on Monday Night Raw. Now, 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 it's just my opinion. I'm just saying. If they went ahead add this to the championship that Triple H was showing, I just feel like it would make it ten times better and just different. But I know they added the um the Intercontinental Championship uh what's it called belt pieces. You know what I'm trying to say the the WWE logo on the sides where they add the wrestlers logo. Speaking of logos, here's the Scribble Scrabble logo on the big gold championship. Boom. Here's the newer one. I'm just saying, I feel like if they want to hang on with this design, with this one that I'm showing you right now, I just feel like it would make it ten times better. But like I said, it's just my opinion. Just wanted to put that out there. So, there you go. And now we're going to get on to the next thing. So this is different, but we're still on the same topic of talking about championships. What about the WWE Universal Championship? Since the World Heavyweight Championship, a.k.a. the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, is getting an upgrade, what about the Universal title? Will it get an upgrade? Will the championship change? Will it have a different design? Because I would like to see a different design on the Universal Championship, in my honest opinion. And I also wanted to put this out there too, which I might do another video on too later in the future if you guys want to see it stay tuned for that um i think in my honest opinion the universal championship i think it's a mid-card title i hate to say it i think it's more of a mid-card title more as a world title so just saying because if we had two universal championships one for raw and one for smackdown make those championships the secondary um mid-card championships, and then meanwhile, the United States Championship and the Intercontinental Championship, they don't have to change. They can just stay the same. But however, update the United States Championship, which, however, I will save that for another video for another day. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I uh, just wanted to put this one video that I'm doing right now out there so, so I can hear your guys' suggestions on what you think about the titles. Do you think my idea is a little bit better or do you like the championship the way it is what how do you think is it going to turn out is it going to be roman reigns having two world championships or will it be replaced or is it going to be the other way around please let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out